Here's a tour of Pulehuiki Road. Start at the bottom of Lower Kula Road and it's one of the arteries that attaches up to Keikalike Avenue, right past Crater Road, turn off Halaka Highway, turns into Keikalike Avenue. So majority are two acre lots, a few have been condominiumized for the house and the cottage. And then here on the right side, these homes are up against a gulch that separates Pulehuiki Road from Kamehameiki Road, another one of the ones that go top to bottom from Lower Kula Road to Kekalike Avenue. On the left side, some farming, goats, chickens, etc. And then the, that is bordered by a piece previously owned by Halaka Ranch, but a large portion of pasture kind of filling in with avocados. So up here we will have a few more orchards. Nicer homes in the area, two acre lots with views. I had with this wooden fence was just built lots of avocado trees of different varieties. There's actually a few varieties in Kula that were hybridized by farmers in Kula for this exact zone. So very popular area for that. You can see the overhead utilities for most of the area. And this spot on the right goes to Gulch. Older houses and we have some better farm areas up above coming up here a few two acre lots that stick out to the right one of these has been recently CPR'd as well as a sale um, near two million for CPR lot with a cottage but very well maintained nice landscaping etc these guys have some tomato farms, the bamboo is popular up here, and then you get into some of Kula's famous persimmon farms at this elevation where a lot of the farmers will ship all the way to Japan, and more and more people are using them for uh, different treats, as is on Maui. Raw, very good, but as well as jellies and dried persimmon. And then here we have some jacaranda trees as well. And then this property here, lots of bamboo, as well as he uses it to keep his give his horses some privacy. And then up above here, these two acre lots now turn into some of the larger lots up here. Nine acre lots was part of called Pulehuiki Farm subdivision. On the right side, some larger lots as well. Uh, more horse areas from here to the top. Deer fences, keep the deer out, keep the horses happy. Small arena, we have an arena on this side as well. Another nine acre lot being cleaned up had been full of wattle trees. And this is actually a very popular road for walking. Uh, a lot of people will be going up and down this road in the mornings, beautiful views of the crater. I'll show you some of the shots I've had on that as well. Uh, so we have Hashimoto and the Matsui Persimmon Farm. Oh, here's the Matsui Persimmon Farm. And then Hashimoto sign right up above. Another nine acre lot with the bamboo hedge, mainly for horses now. Hashimoto Kula Persimmons, beautiful. This is a two acre CPR, just a cottage here. And then we go back into some smaller lots here. And these are all part of the, the farm families here. Persimmons with some of the housing going in. And we are nearing the top now. Well, you can imagine the views behind. I'll send you some of those directly. 
more just the seeing what what houses are here on these streets Kula if I treat them all as individual condos so people can get an idea of the exact area that each of these streets goes at and I'll fill it in with elevations and whatnot and here we are at Kekalike 2600s to the right and then going up to the left and here we are this is the road towards the crater Allah